Hi, this is Yolanda Van Dien, and in this segment we're going to learn all about how to grow the spider flower, or cleome. It's a beautiful plant from the tropics. And cleome are native to many tropical areas in South America and Africa. And so in the colder climates, they're treated like an annual. The flowers come in many colors, whites and hot pinks and soft pinks and purples. And they're really a beautiful cut flower as well. But they're from the tropics, so they can only handle temperatures that are b above freezing. They can only survive in zones 10 to 12 outside. But in colder climates, you can treat them like an annual. Just start them by seed in the spring whenever the freeze has stopped. And don't even put them outside till it's over 60 degrees continuously during the day. Because if you put them out too early, then you might lose them as well because it's too cold. And then they'll bloom all summer. And then in the fall, you just cut them back and then save the seeds and start them from seed the next spring. But they have a long, exciting history, and they've been found all over the world. And even at Monticello, apparently Thomas Jefferson was one of the first Americans to grow the cleome. And don't be confused, a lot of plants are called spider flowers. There's the Aztec lily, Sprachilia, that's some called, sometimes called a spider lily, and the Ismini or Hymenocallis, which has kind of a spidery shape that's white and it has a nice fragrance. And sometimes they call that spider flower as well. But truly, there's only one spider flower that's known as spider flower, and that's Cleome.